What's up guys, it's Doug here again at Hybrid Fitness and today we're going over a 30 minute chest workout routine. So this routine is gonna have three different groups of exercises and each different group of exercises meant to be completed one exercise after the other in sequence. And our first group is gonna be flat bench along with a resistance band uh, YTW for um, rotator cuff stability. We're gonna start down for our flat bench, find your grip. Remember with, with the flat bench, we wanna pinch our shoulder blades together, plant our feet, bring the bar above our chest, bring it down towards the bottom of our chest around our nipple line, and exhale on the way up. Then after the bench press, we're gonna go over here and grab this band. We're gonna have resistance band YTW. Now these three movements are meant to be back to back to back, and it's meant to help build shoulder stability within your rotator cuff and keep your, um, your scapulas packed it back to help support your shoulders when you're doing bench press. So it's gonna look like this. We're gonna have our, our hand where we're receiving resistance this way for our Ys. Keep resistance the whole time. After this, we're going to go T's. We're going to receive resistance this way. Arm straight, pinching those shoulder blades together. Should feel a slight burn in your shoulders. And then a W where we receive resistance both ways, pulling this way and this way. You're going to pull up, pinch your shoulder blades. Then after this, we wanna recover for about two minutes and then hit the next set of eight. Now moving on to our second group of exercises for the workout. Um, we're gonna start with incline close grip dumbbell press, which is gonna be really good for the top pec. Then we're gonna move on to our dumbbell chest fly, where we're gonna hold at the bottom for three to five seconds. And then after that, an overhand lateral raise. So let's start with the dumbbells. <clears throat> start with them up and then touch them together. You wanna to be slightly pushing in, into these dumbbells as you perform the exercise. You're gonna go down to right above your chest, exhale as you're squeezing in together, and press up. You wanna push right above your chest and continue to squeeze those dumbbells together. Right after these, we're gonna grab this next set of dumbbells here for the incline um, chest fly. Now, since you have a three to five second hold, I don't want anything too heavy. I don't want you to get stuck down at that 180 degree mark and, and injure your shoulder. You're gonna start up high, come down slow. Once you get to about that 180 degree mark with your, your the upper part of your arm, you wanna hold it three to five seconds and come back up to the top. After the chest fly, grab the third set of dumbbells, tight core, sit straight up, palms facing out, and you're gonna, with a slight bend in your elbows, bring your arms all the way up, and touch above your head. It's not a fast movement. You wanna be nice, slow, and controlled, keeping an upright torso with your core tight. Exhaling the whole way up.
Then after you finish all three of these exercises, we're gonna take another two minute break, let your muscles recover, and then you're gonna hit the next round. Our last group of exercises are gonna be the one arm dumbbell press in a flat position, and then the low cable fly. We're gonna hold that at the top for another three to five seconds. Um, we're gonna start out grabbing a dumbbell, have a seat, lay back. I always want you to start with the dumbbell up, pinch your shoulder blades together, plant your feet, slow down, exhale up. We want this elbow coming down to 90, to about 45 degrees with the rest of your body. Switch arms. Again, start at the top. But right after you finish those, pop up, come over to these cables, step out a little bit so you can receive the weight, and then we're going to fly from the bottom all the way up to about chest level, and then we're going to hold it for three to five seconds. Coming right up to the center, and back down. Make sure you're squeezing those packs in the middle at the top. Now there you have our 30 minute chest workout routine. If you have any questions about the programming or how you should do it, I put it in the description below. And give it a shot, let me know what you think.